I am in three swing trades. I got in these on Friday. So if you guys watched my last video, I talked about the coronavirus stocks. These are the stocks that are that are going crazy right now. And I'm trying to use that volatility to make some money in this market right now that is going red pretty bad. And it had some stocks in there that I was thinking about trading, but I dove a little bit deeper and I went into a lot of these stocks and I came out with three stocks that I'd like for a swing trade. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you why. So if you guys are new to my channel, this is the Swing Trader channel. We talk about stocks, swing trades, day trades, pretty much everything to do in the stock market. So if you are interested in these swing trades that I'm in right now, don't forget to hit that like button down below and let's get right into it. So the first swing trade that we're gonna be talking about is AIM. This is AIM. Of course, it's a coronavirus stock. All of these are. I'm gonna go ahead and show you why I got into this for a swing trade. AIM here, it has support right around the $2 and say three cents mark. So what I was looking for in this stock, I was looking for it to pull back into it and it did and it actually busted through it. And I saw it going down. I waited a little bit to see how far it was gonna go. And then eventually I got in this right around $1.99. And as soon as I got in this stock, I went red pretty immediately, but I knew it was gonna bounce. But you can see down here, I set an alert at $1.89 just in case it did hit that because I'm out doing other things. So I, I can't really watch it. So what I do is I set an alert to let me know if it gets down to a number where I might wanna sell if this thing keeps on dumping. Basically, so that way I can go out, do whatever I'm doing, you know, and I got my iPhone watch so I can watch it. If it, if it hits this mark, it's going to alert me and say, Hey, it hit this mark. And then I'm going to say, uh, you know what? It's looking like it might not be a good swing trade. Thankfully it didn't hit that mark and it kept on going up. And as of right now, it's holding the support here at about $2 and five cents. And what I would like to see, we have resistance up here at about $3 and 91 cents. I would like to see it get up there. Probably what I'm going to end up doing is I'm probably going to sell if it gets there, if it gets there, I'm probably going to end up selling some of my position, maybe at around $2 and 89 cents because it, it did reject that. But what I'm looking for here is to sell up around this $4 range, but this is a coronavirus stock. So these things are very volatile. So you just got to keep an eye on it. You don't really, have, you don't have to watch it, but just do it like I did. Just put alerts on where you want it to be alerted, where the stock is. So that way, when you get the alert, you can go ahead and take a look at it and then you can pretty much evaluate it a little bit more from there. But my goal is to get out of the swing trade, like I said, right around $394. That's where we got resistance at. As of right now, we are holding support. So let's see what happens on Monday. So just look at AIM's website here. You know, they do drugs. And from what I see, they're trying to find a cure for the coronavirus but they do other stuff as well. Next one that we're looking at here is ALT. This is another coronavirus stock. I'm, I don't know why I keep on saying it. These three swing trades are all coronavirus stocks. So what I was looking for on this stock for a swing trade, I was looking for it to pull back here right into this support level at around $3.47. And I wanted to make sure it held that. Once I got confirmation that it was holding that support level, I wanted to get in this for a swing trade. And my entry in this one was $3.67. And if you're wondering, hey, you got a bad fill, you're looking at $3.00 and 40 something cents. But I wanted to make sure that it held that support and it wasn't just gonna go up and then just come crashing right back down and dump right through it just like it did here on this day right here. So I got the confirmation and I hopped in for a swing trade. Now looking for a good time to sell here, we have resistance right around $4.45, but I would really like to see it get up to right around maybe five. It didn't reach five these, these last times that it spiked up. It was just a little bit under five. So this is probably the area where I'm looking to either sell all of my position or just get a little bit out, probably right around $4.90 because it has rejected that twice. So that's what I'm looking for on this swing trade. And if we look at their website right here, they actually have something right on their front page, the COVID-19 response, which is the coronavirus. So they're just putting it right out there. Like, hey, we're doing stuff for the coronavirus. And this could be a pump. You know, a lot of companies, they just use this to pump up their stock or their company or whatever, just to get, to get people looking at their company. But if we click to read their effort, to help this address what are they doing so they had a press release on february 28th i kind of think that's when the stock went up pretty hard and they're just saying that they're trying to find a vaccine for the coronavirus so this, this is what this company is doing so i saved the best for last i really like this one for a swing trade bcrx and this stock, I was looking for it to break this support level here right around $4. I wanted to see it break $4. And I was watching it right down here right in the morning. And it came up and it got rejected from the $4, came back down. And then it started pushing back up again. And I told myself, you know, you, you might want to wait until it breaks $4 again. But I, 
it was going up pretty hard. I said, I need to get in this now because it's going to end up breaking $4. And that's what I was looking for. I was looking for the stock to break $4 and then make higher highs from there. So I got in this stock at $3.95, ran up, broke the $4 point, came back down, made a lower low, busted through $4 again, made a higher high, pumped all the way back down. Then it just consolidated, consolidated, and I was red. I was red for a little bit here, there. And then just a big old green push and a lot of volume coming in. And that's when we really started to rip and start going. But I'm going to show you real quick why I like this one a lot for a swing trade if it broke the $4 mark. So I'm looking at the 10 year one day chart. And this is where I got the resistance level for $4. You can see it's it's been in play a bunch here. So I knew if it broke four, it was going to be a pretty good push up to the upside. And this is one of the reasons why I like this for a swing trade right here. You have a huge gap that needs to be filled. And sure, we're going to have some resistance here at $5 to break. But eventually, I this gap has to be filled all the way up to $7.20. All right, so if you're looking at BioCrest website here, it's a drug company trying to find a cure for the coronavirus. So these are the three swing trades that I got into on Friday, and I'm planning on holding them going into next week. I'm going to have to wait and see if any of these stocks hit my mark, and then I can get out of them. But like I was saying, you need to set alerts so you know what this stock is doing because it's the coronavirus stocks, and they're, they're, they're pretty volatile. They all run pretty much the same way right now. If one dumps hard, you know, it might pull and bring these stocks down. But on the other hand, if one of the stocks starts running up like INO, INO had a great day on, I believe it was Friday, that might help push up some of these stocks. It always seems like every week out of the coronavirus stocks, you have one stock that really likes to run hard. Because last week it was INO and the week before that, I think it was APT. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Let's make some money. As you know, guys, hand sanitizer, you can't buy it anymore. So what did I do? Bought some uh, hardcore moonshine, some hydroxine peroxide, and some glycerine. And we mix them together. We got our own hand sanitizer. The only bad thing is it smells like straight vodka. So people might think that you're getting drunk and work, but you can't buy it. You got to make it. So here's a nice friendly tip for you.